The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening. The remastered version of the game. I believe you name this Link. Put this in hero mode. Let's see how fair I do. <laughs> oh boy. What a relief. I thought you'd never wake up. You were tossing and turning. What? Zelda? No, my name's Marin. You must still be feeling a little woozy. You on Koholan Island. Well, Link, you finally snapped out of it. Name's Taryn. Hope you're feeling better. What? How do I know your name? You think it's weird, eh? Well, I saw it on the back of the shield. Hold R to repel enemies. Cool. I got my shield, but where's my sword? Hmm, I wonder if it's back on the beach. Look how beautiful this game is when it's running at 60 FPS and not chopping up in 30s. <laughs> uh. So yeah, you need the shield in order to actually get past these dudes. So you just gotta push them to the side, come over to where I'm going, and there's your shield. Huh? Hoot hoot, so you are the lad who owns the sword. Now I understand why the monsters are starting to act so violently. A courageous lad has come to wake the windfish. It is said that you cannot leave this island unless you wake the windfish. You should now go no, you should now go north to the mysterious forest. I'll wait for you there. Hoot. Hmm. You found your sword. It must be yours because it has your name engraved on it. You can swing it by pressing the B button. Do 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 wow. Alright, now that we reclaimed our sword, we can actually fight back. But we're not gonna be doing much fighting for right now. Right now we need to actually head back up here in order to get the first heart piece. I mean there's two of them in this one village, but the first and easiest one to obtain is one that's over here. So you gotta fall down this hole. Bam! Just like that. That you know was funny. It kind of reminds me of uh, a link between worlds in the uh, Kakariko village. You actually have to fall into a well in order to get a heart piece. That's kind of how I knew that was there. And yeah, I did play some of it, but I didn't get, I didn't beat the game. I think I've only beaten three of the dungeons, so I know what I'm doing for the most part. But uh, I, I might get stuck or stumble for the later parts of the game. So just bear with me in mind. It's also playing on the hardest difficulty, which is hero mode, which means I'm going to get chopped up left and right. Like nobody's business. <laughs> okay, let me just head to the forest. Owl's waiting for me. Who toots, motherfucker? Nope, gotta go this way. The thing is, Koholan Island is very small because everything is so squished together. But then again, it is a Game Boy game onto the Switch, so you know. Much of mystery you will find on this uncharted Koholan Island. I'm afraid you may find it tri a trifle difficult to leave the island. By the by, have you ever visited the Tail Cave, which is south of the village? Go there with the key you find in this forest. The Withfish is watching. Hoot. Hmm. So yeah, like I said before, we're playing on hero mode, which means we gotta be very careful on fighting enemies. Look at this raccoon. As a raccoon, my nose is very sensitive to stuff like dust and powder. Cool. 
<laughs> oh, you're gonna get lost next to me. <laughs> and he does this. Great. Okay, let's go take our butt all the way this way. Because he actually gave us a hint to figuring out how to get rid of him. No. Bad Moblin. Oh, Goblin? Macoblin? I don't know. Ooh. Ooh. You just got that Guardian Acorn because I'm not trying to die. Um... You go this way and up? No, that's just a circle. Right? Yeah, it's just a circle. So I gotta go the other way. Ow. So the guardian acorn is supposed to um half the damage you take. And if that was half the damage it's supposed to take, you saw how much damage I took. <laughs> I took half a heart. So if he had hit me, that would actually been a whole heart. I think we have to go through here. Not that I'm thinking about it. Yeah, we have to go through this tunnel in order to actually get to where I need to get to. No. Oh, my God. Break that. Push this. Open this. Bam. 50 rupees. All right. We cannot get this heart piece just yet. But it's a good thing that in this game, it has markers. No. So I'm just going to put heart. Leave it like that. So that way I know there's a heart over here. A heart piece over here. Alright, now that he's out of here, we can get this. And we need the toadstool in order to actually um create something. Ow! Jesus Christ. Could you not throw your javelins at me? Please. Okay, we can't cross over here just yet. So we gotta go back through here. That's a loud ass motorcycle. I'm not even gonna hold you on that. I thought I fucked that up just now. I saw I, I saw some talk. I was like, wait a minute. <laughs> oh yeah, enemies don't drop hearts, so I actually have to be stupidly careful. I got a piece of power. That means I basically one shot everything. It doesn't fucking matter because everything one shots me regardless. Bow. Um. On my way. No. Get out the way. Get out the way. Dodge this fool. Then we gotta go into this lady's house. Ah, it has this, it has the sleepy toadstool. It does. We'll mix it up with something. Look at her eyes. Her dead, desolate. Oh my god. Yeah, her cold, desolate eyes. <laughs> Magic powder. So now we can equip it with the X or Y button. Bam. Magic powder has various effects, is what I'm going to say. So like this dude, we cannot kill it with it. E. Alright, let's not waste it though. We kind of need it to kill this raccoon. Ooh, ooh. Hey, no. This eight quarter is not going to save me. Oh. 
Chill. Chill. Relax. Bastard. Oh! It's Terran. The last thing I, I can remember was biting into a big juicy toadstool. Then I had the darndest stream. Oh, it's a raccoon. Yeah, it sounds strange, but it sure was fun. Asshole. And now we got the tail key. So now we can go explore the uh, tail dungeon. Not before this hoot hoot mother fudger comes in and, you know, gives us explanation. Hoot, take the key and go to tail cave. Retrieve the instrument that is hidden there. Go now, the windfish is waiting. Hoot. Thanks. Take my time, because <laughs> enemies don't drop health. I ain't trying to die. I ain't got the time for it. Um, Let's do something real quick before we go there. Do 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 Oh, oh, wow. Yes, please. Okay, there we go. I got it this time. I definitely got it this time. I better get it this time. I am not playing with you, game. Game? Game. Oh. <laughs> I was about to flip. I messed this one up, though. Damn it, Yoshi. Damn you, Yoshi. Oh, wait. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Come on. You can't just throw me a bone. So, you're just gonna... Okay, there we go, game. Oh. 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 Hey. There we go. Bam. Give me that 50. Yeah. No. You know what? Not nah, quit. <laughs> Why? No. You're a scammer. See me the Yoshi doll. And my heart piece. Okay, that healed me back up. Now this kid's gonna bother me about this damn toy. Whoa, you want the Yoshi doll? We've been trying to do that forever. Our mom is really desperate to have one. His mom, you may ask. Mm. <laughs> Ow. Oh, my. All right, all right. Chill, chill, chill. Jesus. Okay, don't attack the wolves. Fuck. Vicious little bastards. 200, 200. You're a cheapskate. You know that? It's funny because I that just got my health back and I already lost all of it. Fucking wolves. Yeah, here, take the Yoshi though. So in this game, there's a big fetch quest that actually does play part of the story. 
So you actually gonna wanna have to, you know, do the fetch quest in order to get certain items to progress the game. Because if you don't, well, you're not beating this game. There's a lot of things you gotta do in this game to beat it. And I hate it. A lot. <laughs> like, legit, the reason why I haven't beaten this game yet is because I can be getting stuck. Then also, I've been playing Astral Chain and River Seed Fields, but you know, that's a different, that's a different thing. Um, I gotta bring the ribbon over here. Leave me alone, Chain Chomp. Gotta bring it to this one. Match up jewels just as I want it. Oh, or else that makeup. Wow, I can't read. Yeah, let me get that ribbon for that dog food. Now that we got the dog food, we can bring it down to one person before we head over to the dungeon. Do 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 Why did I come over here? Leave me alone. Okay, so let's not try to die on our way there. Head down south. Get out of my way. Move. Come into this house. And talk to this alligator. He's gonna have the dog food because he doesn't want fruits and candies. He wants to eat actual food. Yeah, no, it's, it's, it's dog food, but you know. I, I, I guess it tastes great to him. That was great. No, it's not a fair trade, but here's some bananas. I actually needed the bananas. Okay, so for now, the fetch quest is on hold. Let's make our way to the first dungeon where we will die over and over again because I play recklessly and I only got one heart, you see. It's beeping constantly in my ears. Again, you know, it'd be nice if they just fixed this goddamn frame stutter. But they 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 not. They're not gonna do it. I know they're not gonna do it. This is ridiculous. Let me get this guardian acorn though. Yeah. Ooh. The mysteries ensue. As we head into level one, Tell Cave. Get off of me. That's tough. And we got the key. I believe we go left first, if I'm not mistaken. Hate these things. Hate these things. With a passion. Fuck. <laughs> it's gonna dodge you. Head into this room. Gonna sprint past everything. Fuck off, fuck off. Oh, no! Damn it. Hey, 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 hey. 
Bat fires. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. Got my way. Oh my god. Okay, for these dudes, you gotta put your shield up so they run into it, or you can just walk into them and flip them over. That'll spawn in the door. The door that'll give us the dungeon's item. Oh, look, it's Goombas. I'm sorry, am I playing the right game? And now we have Rock's Feather, which gives us the ability to jump. Whee! You can also attack in midair, too. So, hey. Cool to that. Oh, look at this Mario wing we're doing right now. Oh, yeah. Totally not Zelda right now. <laughs> but with that, we can jump over this gal so we don't have to walk over around with these annoying ass enemies. I can also jump over this guy and ignore that bastard altogether. Pick up this guardian acorn because I know I'm going to get hit by some nonsense soon. Also, anytime you're near a treasure chest that hasn't been opened, your compass will go off making that sound. Da -na -na -na. Look at that. 20 rupees. Yay. Open this door. Let's so get up here to open this chest, which is the boss key. You may be wondering, where's your map? How come you haven't gotten the map? Wait, did I get the map? No, I didn't get the map. Yeah, because I would have seen I would be able to see everything right now. And that's because the map is in the later rooms, but you know, I'm over here secrets breaking like how because I don't care. Fucking style forces. Is this style forces? For sure, style forces. Bastard. Oh. Uh. Bam. So for those dudes, basically, you just gotta match them on all three of the same things, and they die. They explode. Look, you got the stone beak. You use it for the owl statues if you need hints, but I don't need them, so I don't care for them. Oh, I'm going to care for this health that I'm about to lose, though. Oh, look, a mini boss. Trying to be very careful. There we go. Fat bastard. Yeah! Get out of here with your nonsense. That's probably why I didn't get the map yet. Because there's <laughs> a pathway to go to the right. And I never went right. I always went left. Get out of my way. Like that. Spawn in the chest, and this chest should hold the map. Yep. Now 
Now there's another chest in this in this dungeon that I don't have access to that room yet because I don't have any bombs. And we need bombs in order to get over there. Therefore, it's gonna sit there until I decide to come back on my own time. And the game's trying to off me already. Wow, I just walked in the room. Oh, uh, do I need to come down here? Oh, uh, if you want to see this, then yeah. <laughs> I don't think there's any real reason for you to be in this room. Oh, well. Ooh. Oh, that's why. Because you fall down. Okay, now I remember. Oh, look. It's Moldorm. Buzz, buzz. Outsider. This asshole. This, this piece of shit ass boss. I think one hit will actually kill me from this dude. So I got to be very careful. Oh my god. Oh my god. Move, move, move. Got him. But two fully charged spin attacks ends his life. So hey, look at that. He wasn't that threatening. Even though one hit would actually kill me. And there we go. The first instrument. You got the full moon cello. Swamp. A path opens in the blooms. You have it. First dungeon is defeated. I'll see you all in the next part. Laters.